Hey crafty scholars, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia, I'm a so crafty teacher. Today is Work It Wednesday. So I put out a poll in my new community tab, since I'm like official, and I put out a poll on what the viewers would like to see next. And the viewers have spoken, 54% of you chose a monogram in a hoodie. So guess what? That's what we're going to do today. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, so today I am going to do a um, round monogram applique. It's going to be eight by eight. It's going to go on my Gildan Heavy Blend, 50% um, cotton, 50% polyester. This color is called Asphalt, and I bought this from Jiffy. I'm going to do the round monogram applique here. It's eight by eight, and I'm also going to do a regular um, monogram here on the actual hood. So I'm excited to really show you how to do this. So let's get started. So the first thing I always do before I do any project is choose my design, make sure I have all the colors for the design, and then I create the design. So my jump drive ready to go. And then I chose my fabric, which is this beautiful pink fabric right here. Look at that, has that wash look to it? This is gonna go in the monogram applique. So let me go ahead and cut this and add heat and bond to it. Moves out the way and I always put these up at the end. So now I'm getting ready to do the heat and bond. Okay, I need to add heat and bond to my fabric. I buy the heat and bond by the bolts. And here we go. So, okay, so when you are doing it, make sure that I always put my fabric facing up and so that the back side is laying on top of my heat and bond. So it's gonna look just like this. So I'm just gonna take it and I cut really close if not just a little bit of the fabric i don't want the parts on the heat bond to get on the top of my heat press so i'm gonna make sure none of that is sticking out especially if you don't have a cover on that you can just wipe it off really quick if i have a small piece of fabric about this size this is about seven inches seven eight inches wide I usually just use it like this. I put it inside, I fold it over to give it added protection. So today, I'm just gonna lay this just like this on top of my heat press, right here over here. Just cover it and pull this down. All right. And it's done. Take your part, pulling this off. So now that I have my, so now that I have my fabric prepped and ready to go and I have my design, it is now time for me to prep the hoodie. So let's get to that. Just like I do with any other shirt, I take it and I find my center point. So that's how I'm gonna line up my hoop based on my center point. So let's do that first. So take my hoodie this way, line it up, I need to lay it down, can't wait to wear this, probably wear this my next slide. Okay, I have it, everything's lined up, and I'm just gonna press it. I've created my center line. It's right there directly in the middle. See it? Here's my center line, so I know where to line everything up. Now I'm getting ready to take it to the table. I'm gonna use my cutting corners by vinyl ruler, my three by 15 size ruler. So I want it three inches down from the collar and I wanna make sure my design is centered. So let's do that. Okay, so now I have my hoodie. I have my fabric I'm gonna use for the applique for the monogram. 
Um, I'm getting ready to place my hoop in the proper position. You need to make sure that it is at least three inches down from the neckline. So here's the neckline or collar of the hoodie. So I'm gonna make sure it's three inches down. You can either use a omni grid ruler or just a regular tape measure, but I use the cutting, cutting corners um, ruler. So it's a three inch by 15 inch. The rule is that it's bigger than the extra large. You need to move it down four inches. Okay, so here we go. This is my collar. Here it says center. So I wanna make sure that I'm centered. So taking it and I'm gonna put it right here, right here in the middle where I made my crease. So that's what the purpose of my line was to make that crease. And I'm gonna put my hoop. So now I have my flat part of my mighty hoop, the one that goes inside of the shirt. So this is a um, this is an eight by nine mighty hoop. Have my design, okay. And you need to make sure that the warning sign is face down, and that the, you see four metal dots at the top, and this little part is at the bottom. So you're gonna slide it in from underneath. I'm gonna feel for those two metal dots. So I'm gonna slide it in. All right. Sure. Sometimes you might have to peek inside just to make sure you have it. All right. It's in its place. And I will be floating my stabilizer. So I have my center point. Everything in its place. Okay. Then I'm just gonna take my the top part of the mighty hoop and snap it. So I have that snapped. Remember, you want three inches, about three inches from the top. Okay. Have everything set. Now it's time to go on the machine. Okay, so now I have it on the machine. Now I'm getting ready to set up my design. So now I'm going to hit the trace button. It traced it. Making sure everything's out of the way. And sometimes the stabilizer moves if you float it, but you sure can uh, hoop it if you like. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. This applique actually stitches out one letter at a time. So I'm gonna just keep coming back so that you can see it. And I'm gonna come back, let you see it. And I'm just gonna just show you the process. So I'm just gonna take the fabric and I'm just gonna lay it over here. Then I'm gonna do. So that was the placement stitch. This is the tack down stitch. Hit lock. Cut this wise in the hoop. Gonna use my favorite scissors, my double curved scissors. So it's gonna pretty much just trim the applique. It's just easier to do this, do it this way, so I don't have to take this out because it is bulky because of it being a hoodie. So now that is done, I'm gonna send the hoop back, and then I am going to let it stitch already pretty it just has one layer so I'm gonna let it stitch out so 
this one takes eight minutes to stick out, so I'm not going to make you watch eight minutes. So eight minutes to stick out, and we'll come back to it when it's almost done. All right, check it in. Look how pretty it is. Okay, so that this first eight is done. Now it's time to do the placement stitch for the H. And then because they stitch one at a time, I just end up just, I just took what was left, I folded it and I just cut it right in half. So, getting ready to move the hoop out and lay the fabric in its place. Okay, so the fabric is there. I'm gonna scoot it over because probably can make another H out of this. Okay. Move it back. Now it's gonna do the tack down stitch. Tack down, get ready to snip snip. Gonna pull it out because I'm gonna cut it in the hoop. Now it's time for the placement stitch for the last letter on this circle round um, applique. Again, I got this from Designs by Juju. And I'm gonna lay the fabric. I'm not gonna pull it out this time because this is the last one and I know it completely covers the, la the last letter. So I'm gonna hit lock, start. Now I'm gonna do the check down stitch for the last letter. So just like the other two, I'm going to extend my hoop out and I'm just going to cut it while it's in the hoop. Okay, so this A is finishing up. It is so pretty. There it is. All nice and finished and pink. Everything is trimmed. Now it's time to do the round monogram on the actual hood of the hoodie. Okay, so there you have it. Look at that monogram. How cute is that? So I'm gonna take it and it's apart. Slide this out. Now I'm gonna take it and put this out so that I can trim away the cutaway stabilizer and any of those threads. I do this one a little bit different than I usually cut because it's more fabric, so I'm not able to gather in the middle. So. I just cut around as close as I can without cutting the fabric or popping the threads. Can't wait to try um, sublimation on this. Like I said, this is for me. So, so, so and then I just take it and I just just like my all-purpose scissors because it's so sharp and it's heavy duty. I love these. Let me get this part because I know it's gonna irritate me. So now I am done with that. I have my monogram where I want it to be. Look how cute. Now it's time to prep um, the hood. So we gotta get the hood ready because I am going to add a monogram here. And it's gonna be facing this way. So when it falls down like this, you can still see, see the monogram from the back. So the monogram from the front, monogram from the back. There's gonna be a round monogram. 
And I also got that round monogram. This is just all stitching. I got this one from Designs by Juju as well. So most of everything I have comes from Designs by Juju. So I have my hoodie. All right. So let's go over here. So this, I'm gonna put this in this way because I'm going to like, this is gonna be the, towards the front of the machine. Line up with this line, make sure the crease is right. And my hoodie can be tricky, but the result is nice. Now there's my line. I know this might look like it's off, but here's my center line. That's why I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this over here. Okay, so my tin needle has a table. I'm going to use a table so this is not hanging down. So I can just sit the hoodie on top. It's in there. I put my snowman sticker. So I can just easily find the placement where I want it to go. You don't have to use a mighty hoop. You can use a fast frame or actually a regular hoop as well. So. The rest of the hoodie is just laying up here. So it's not weighing it down. So the monogram on the hood is done. Let's take it off of the hoop. So one thing I have to do is unlock it on each side and it slides right off. It's a nice surface area. Okay, so I'm gonna take it over here and I actually use tear away for this, for the hoodie. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. Oh, inside. And you can pull it out the middle if you want to, um, since this part is not hidden like the other part is. And you just want it to look nice and neat and not messy. That's why I use tearaway stabilizer for this one instead of cutaway stabilizer. There you have it. So when you wear the hood and it falls back, the monogram is like this. So that's the purpose of it, doing it this way. So forget you need to take this to the heat press. It needs to be pressed out. And you can do it either way. I'm gonna let this one's gonna press it just like this. I'm gonna let this part hang over here. Make sure everything is straight. And you will press it like you would do a regular applique. Now it's done. So now it's done. It's time for me to try it on. So there it is. It's not too low, it's not too high. It's centered. And the coolest part, I do also have that monogram right here, my hood. And then it falls and you have your monogram right there. Well, thank you Crafty Scholars for watching the Work It Wednesday. I hope you learned how to monogram a hoodie and also how to monogram the hood of a hoodie. And I will have more videos to come. Don't forget my live is 
Thursday, March 4th, I will be giving away two Amazon gift cards. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the video, and be live with me Thursday. You have to be live to win and also increase your chances of winning. Subscribe, like, comment. So, thank you so much, Crafty Scholars. Ciao.